Hello everyone, Tom Cosm here. Um, I have another Max patch that I've put out there today. This one's a very simple one, it's called the 8 button slider. Now I've made this because my Megaset 2.0 is coming out soon and I really wanted to have something that let people who don't have a hardware controller or maybe they've just got an evaluation copy of Live just to check it out. Um, they can load up the Megaset and they can use their computer keyboard um, to control actual parameters. Um, so again it's very simple, what you have is you have 8 rows. Um, the first thing in the row is a map button so we can click on map then go anywhere with an Ableton Live and choose a parameter. So I'm going to choose the free frequency of this pole on an EQ8 and you can do that up to eight times you can then set a minimum and maximum value so let's say I don't want that pole um, to be absolute at, uh, at, at the absolute bottom I can move it up a bit like so just so we can cut out base frequencies if we want then of course we have these eight buttons and by clicking on one of these eight buttons we can jump to an area inside the minimum and maximum so it takes the distance between min and max divides it into eight and then lets you jump to a specific point um, with one being the min and uh, eight being the max. Now of course the cool thing is if we go into a keyboard assign mode you can see you can assign um, computer keys, keys on your computer keyboard to any one of these buttons here. Um, you can also do this for MIDI if you chose to do so. So just to see how that works I'm currently pushing one two three four five six seven eight on my keyboard and you see how they light up. If we go over to this return track where I had that um, and let's push it one two three four five six seven eight. Very good. Now you, you notice how I had that minimum value increase slightly. Um, you'll notice that this doesn't go all the way to the bottom now, which is good because on this EQ8 it's actually part of a dub delay chain. So it's a return track that feeds back into itself. So and then we've got a simple delay with no feedback, um, maximum dry wet. So it's going to keep feed that this um, return track is going to keep feeding back into itself and delay itself over and over. Now I've also got um, QWERTYU, if you look on your computer keyboard that's a nice row. These are assigned to the pole that does um, the low pass cutting. So with these two, two things I can um, specify areas that I want to be cut and because this is getting fed back into itself over and over as a delay each time this um, filter is going to be applied. Now the next row that I've got assigned is um, ASDFGHJ and this is controlling the gain on the limiter so each time that dub delay happens um, this limiter defines how loud it is so if it's getting out of control we can bring it down and if we want it louder we can bring it up and then finally I've got a reverb in the chain and ZXCYVBNM comma will change the dry wet on the reverb so if I want to give it a bit of space I can do that okay so let's have a listen to that I'm gonna to have to send an element um, over to that return track. So let's go. Let's bring the um, the uh, gain up. Now we can do some cutting. Let's bring it up the ladder. Bring it down. Crazy. Let's give it that reverb. So I'm doing this all with my computer keyboard. I know you can't see it, maybe you can hear it tapping away. Do some crazy little Let's just capture another sound. Let's just stop the music. Oh, it's coming back. So there you have it, um, you can go and download this, the uh, link will be in the comments section and I hope you enjoy it and um, yeah you can do a whole bunch of other stuff with it, you don't have to do what I just did with it, that's the cool thing about Max for Live. Alright.
Kostenbarkeit und Ansehen. Thank you.